Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your animations to Sketchfab. Sketchfab have kindly sponsored us and they're offering three prizes, six month, three month, and one month subscription to Sketchfab Pro. Sketchfab is free. It has slight limitations, but I think it's still great. And I only use the free account, but the pro account does offer things like password protection, contact me buttons, custom backgrounds, which I would like, I must admit. <laughs> and so on. And I'm really glad that Sketchfab are sponsoring us because I think they are an absolutely fantastic site. I contacted them for sponsorship because of that reason. It's really great to be able to share your models in 3D so people can really analyze every bit of your model. And it's even better that you can put animations on there as well. I haven't got any animations yet, so let's have a quick look for some. So we'll type in character and I can actually tick animated as well. Let's have a look at this dragon here. I like dragons. The other thing is you can sell your models as well. So this is my dot games and can I buy this one no I can't but you can sell your models and I have sold some of my models on sketchfab which is really great and the great thing is I can see this animation and I can analyze different parts of it and if you're buying models as well this is a great place to buy on other sites you can't really get this sort of detail I can break the model down in the model inspector as well and see the polygons the bone influence and the bones themselves and all the different maps I can't say enough good things about this. I was so amazed when this came along and it has actually made a difference to what I do because it's great for me showcasing my stuff. And like I say, I've managed to sell a few models on here as well. If let's say you're doing a big project and you want to buy some models, you can go across to the buy 3D models here and let's say nature and plants and it'll take you through the whole store. When you hover over things, it gives you a preview and there's some lovely items such as this, which is mine. Way. Oh, and this one as well. Oh, I'm very popular on here. But it's really great if you've got a big project with tough time constraints, then you can quickly come on here, buy a few models, and quickly make some scenes. And as I've said, it's one of the better places to buy because you can really break down the model. And they've got some really nice scanned in pieces, low poly work, and you can obviously filter your search and things. And I really want to encourage people to upload their animations to Sketchfab because then when I'm talking about them, I can really show them off in their full light. And we can go in and analyze different parts of your model and see if you've missed any bits. So when I'm doing the challenge at the end of each video, I'll be showing other people's work and how you're all getting on. And hopefully you'll upload them to Sketchfab so I can really review your model. So how do we upload? Now I'm going to show this in 2.8 and 2.79. Unfortunately, the FBX export in 2.8 is still glitchy and I know they are working on it. So hopefully that will get sorted soon. So I will show you in 2.8 and I'll do that to start with. So here's my animation. It's very poor, but it's just quickly showing you some sort of basic animation so I can export it. And in order to export, it's important to know whatever you've got in your timeline and dope sheet, that's the animation that will be baked. So if I click on my armature now, I've got my walk cycle in my dope sheet so that's what's going to be exported if you are using the action editor then whatever action you've got that's what will be exported if you're blending animations then you probably know how to export anyway i haven't exported much with that myself so i'm not going to go into that today but in order to export this animation i need to select my armature and my base mesh and then go to file export fbx and in here you'll see the main category you tick selected objects only and by default all these are selected and you only need the mesh and the armature that's the main category then you go across to animation and by default all these are ticked you can untick all these and just go with baked animation I'm going to call this test for vid 5 as I've done this lots of times already and press export should be fairly quick because it's a small file if it's taking a while, then something's probably gone wrong. Okay, I'm going to do the same in 2.79. So let's click on 2.79. Yeah. Now, of course, I'm only joking. I'm really enjoying 2.8 at the moment, but there are still some limitations like FBX export. So I understand if you're still using 2.79. Okay, so Alt A to play my animation. Everything's exactly the same. And at the moment, I'll have to be taking my animations from 2.8 and bringing them back into 2.79. That's fairly easy file append and then you can just select all your stuff bring it into 2.79 and it should all work fine so just go into object select everything bring it all in and your armature 
should still have the last action that you were using. So same thing again, select your object with right click and select your armature, file, export FBX. And this time I'm going to call it test for vid five old, as in the old version of Blender. So let's go and find my animations. There they are. So let's open the old one first because I know that's going to work. So there's a great program. If I right click on this and go open with, it's called 3D Viewer. It comes with Windows. And this is pretty good for viewing your animations and checking they're working. And that's great. And I can just sort of left click to move around and make sure everything's all right. So that's all good. Let's see what 2.8 has for us. Dun, 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 not so good. <laughs> so yeah, still a bit glitchy. So I'll upload the 2.7 file. So let's go into Sketchfab and assuming you've got an account, so just create an account, press the upload button and you can either choose your file or drag and drop and press continue. And you'll want to put a description, categories and tags to make sure your models get seen. I'm not going to do that for this because it's a pretty rubbish animation. Press continue, process the model for a moment and I think it does send you an email when it's finished and that's great. So it's all coming through and I can review my animation. But wait, there's more. Under 3D settings, I can change loads of cool stuff. The one I'm really impressed with is under lighting and there's a shadow catcher. So if I press on, you can see that there's a floor and you can set the height here, which I'm assuming is just naturally at zero, zero, but my model wasn't. So you can obviously type in these different heights and things and the size of your shadow and floor and everything like that, intensity. So slight shadow there, border fade, really nice, very impressive. And of course there's HDRIs which you can use and you can change those. And you can add your materials obviously, they've got bump and ambient occlusion and all things like that. And the post-processing filters which are great fun as well. Things like sharpness, vignette, bloom, we better turn bloom up, oh yes. Let's put a bit of grain in there as well. Oh, very stylized, very bloomy. So there's loads you can do on Sketchfab. They haven't paid me to say this or anything. They are just really great. And I'm really pleased that they are sponsoring us. And hopefully they'll be promoting your work as well, assuming that there's a good uptake and they'll be talking about animation. If you haven't already, join the Facebook group or the Discord server and join the discussion. It looks also like we're getting more sponsorship from CG Cookie and we'll be getting three months free subscription there for the chosen winner, but more on that later. And I'll be sending out some promotional material soon. So if you can share that with people and use the hashtag animation with a Y, animation19. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps.